The Nasdaq rallied 20% off of its lows. What's happening is the investors in the United States and around the world are hoping that because the inflation readings appear to have peaked, we had a 9.2 reading last month, we got an 8.5 reading this month, maybe the Federal Reserve won't have to increase that overnight rate as quickly as we initially anticipated, thereby increasing borrowing costs and further slowing the economy down for fear of inflation running away. So the best quote I read on this was, an inflation reading going from 9.2 to 8.5 is like a 400 pound guy losing 20 pounds. It doesn't matter, you're still fatter than What does it mean, right? It means that hopefully the Federal Reserve has a reason now to slow down how quickly they're planning on raising interest rates. For Canadians, same thing. You know, we can hope that the Bank of Canada has the ability to slow down this kind of rapid increase in interest rates that we've been seeing in our overnight rate and therefore our prime rate and our borrowing costs as Canadians. And then that will hopefully stimulate the economy. We need to see what the response is going to be from the central bankers before I think we can get ahead of ourselves on predicting how great of a stimulating effect the next move from the central banks will have on borrowing. I still think that we're we're in a very difficult place for property values, but I also think that everyone's watching inflation so carefully that these numbers are so important. Anything that these numbers can do to slow down the rapid increase in borrowing costs will help our economy in the kind of medium term. I think it's almost unavoidable at this point that we're going to be in a recession. If not, we already are in a recession. It's just the length and the depth of that recession are going to be dictated by how many additional rate increases we're going to see from the central bankers.